energy coach and we got another energy report for friday the 26th 2024 so for today's day we're gonna talk we're gonna focus on the topic of men again you know men being better and with this thing with men being better um appreciation but also with uh men keeping it solid so i got a couple of videos um that i'm going to play and give my opinion as i play them let's start let's go ahead and jump right into it Do you think it's okay to date a man for money? Yes. Okay, but like he'll buy you stuff and all you have to do is fuck him. So you think good pussy is enough to keep a man happy? A thousand? No. There's more. There's more. But like my job isn't to keep a man happy. It's his job to keep me happy. That's why I need a sugar daddy and I have one. Why is it all about you, 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 you though? Because I'm a woman. Men already like have so many rights. Now it's like, it's a girl's time to fucking shine. You don't think... 2024 is the best time to be a woman? Uh, no. We just got our abortion rights removed. Now it's the best time to be a fucking woman and stand the fuck up because men are fucking dicks. So you don't think you need a man to survive in life or anything? No. I have a 180k salary as a 22 year old and I have a bonus next week. I do not need a fucking man to be happy. Yeah, but money is temporary. It comes and goes. What happens when you lose your job? I can have five fucking boyfriends a week. I do not need one man to keep me happy. Do you think it's okay to... Okay, so we're going to pause. It's interesting because, one, I know she's young, but two, her mentality was very interesting because she kept saying things that contradicted each other, you know? Like she was saying that she only needed a man for money, but then she was saying she doesn't need a man at all and doesn't need a man for money. Now bring it full circle regardless issue is the men that she's been dealing with because for some reason it's a big thing with this culture this whole trick and hoe mentality like dudes feel like that the only thing they have to bring to the table and provide is money 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 but that don't do nothing is this it just makes more give me give me give me or you know so it's up to men to stop doing the the tricking off so much as far as just to get somebody it's different if that's your woman and you know you taking care of her and you know she actually on your team she care for you but when you tricking and you trying to get somebody attention or you trying to use money oh as a way to skip the line to get some affection or trying to earn your way into somebody's um earn your way into their feelings you know into their heart trying to get their feelings you know you trying to buy your way nah that's corny that's lame man so Dudes got to cut that out because this is the results and this is the reason why feminine ha so many females have that mentality of men are just supposed to be given money and that's it and that's all they use for because men a lot of men aren't coming with any other kind of in in centric intrinsic values you know they're not coming with anything else you know you your mind got to be right your body got to be right your your social circle got to be correct. You feel me? The way you move and you got to be right. Your character got to be right. Your principles got to be right. Your spirituality got to be right. You got to be on point in so many different ways. Your emotional control got to be right. You got to actually be, you know, elevating the people who come around you. But let's go to another video, you know, that um, I think is a contradiction or would be somewhat of a battle to this. Or But you know what? It actually would go with it as well. Let me, let me hush and just hurry up and play it. Four biggest lies single women tell themselves. Number one, I'm single. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I got it. Uh, that wasn't the one. That wasn't the one. I'm going to get back to that one. Hang on. I really don't appreciate shit. This and this one. is why chivalry is dead. This is why men don't want to do shit for us anymore. Because the minute you start to not appreciate but expect shit, I'm not doing it for you. And I'm a woman and I feel that way. And I know men I know men that feel that way. I don't have to do anything for you but respect you. I don't have to send you money. I don't have to spend money on you. I don't have to do any of that. That's that's a that's something I want to do. I really don't appreciate shit. And this is why Ooh. chivalry is dead. This is why So this was a completely opposite from the first video. You know, she was completely opposite, but on point, you know. And this is the reason why the dating scene is so slaughtered now, because 
men have the expectation of, you know, of if they just get money, then that's all they got to do. And then they just instantly get pussy and nothing else. And then a lot of women are thinking, eh, you know, when I meet you, I need to just get money out of you, you know? And I'm not saying that it's all. Again, I said it's a lot. And it's something that's being pushed heavy on social media. And we got to fix that. Again, it starts with men. How are you approaching these women? What are, What is the your presentation, you know, like, what is your demeanor? What is the energy you coming off with? Like, what are you leading with? You feel me? That's giving females this type of mentality that you a uh, super trick daddy, but okay. Now let's get to the other one. The four biggest lies single women tell themselves. Number one, I'm single by choice. No bitch. You're not single by choice. You're single because the options that you have, you don't like them. Trust me. Women want to be in a relationship. Even if the bitch is on the spiritual journey, if a good option comes along, the journey is over. Just think about it. If you're hungry and I'm offering you cat food or dog food, are you taking any of these? No, because those are not good options for you. Number two, I deserve the world. I'm a princess. No, bitch, you're not a princess. Fucking wake up. What do you bring that you feel like you deserve the best treatment? You have no personality. You don't cook. You don't clean. You don't know how to take care of a man. You don't know how to fuck. All you know is that I'm pretty. Just for your prettiness, you deserve princess treatment? No. Number three, my value doesn't decrease with my age. You can be a great woman, but the older you get, the least desirable you are to men. No. Men who want kids look at you as less fertile, which is true, it's science. And also, for most women, beauty tends to decline with age. Guys are attracted to beauty. So, yeah, your value going down, 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 down. And number four, I'm the table. Bitch, how? The table is the foundation. Most women date men who make more money than them. You know that. So how are you the foundation if he brings more money than you? So ladies, we got to stop being the Lulu. Woo. Four biggest lies. Sing now, I thought that was interesting because again, going back to the first video, how the girl was saying how she didn't need a man, you know, but the reasons of why and then the, what she only needed a man for. It's a contradiction. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And again, she was young, but as these things come up, you get older, you know, you ex exceed your options, you know, reality may start kicking in a little bit more. The interesting thing that I saw in, in this video is every time a woman, and this happens consistently, every time a woman kind of sheds some light that um, makes a little sense, you know, especially something that a lot of men will agree with, other women would dogger you know like even in the comments i'm looking at it was talking about um a lot of her was telling her to hush or tell her to shut up it was calling her pick me's they was telling asking her if she got picked all kinds of different stuff but the guys was all agreeing so i thought that was something that was very interesting and it's like mm, yeah interesting let's get to something else that i thought is very interesting on your Twitter, I saw this. Men play chess, women play checkers. I was curious. I was, I was curious. What What do you mean by that? Okay, so really pay attention in people she' about to say because this is important. So, like, my dad raised me to understand that men play chess and women play checkers, so that they have a completely different line of thinking than women do, and um, I didn't really used to like understand what he's talking about but as i got older i did and especially the last couple of years i see in real time every day men uh creating circumstances for things that women don't see whether it be positive or negative and men are meant to do that he said because they are the leaders in the home so they're supposed to create the circumstances for their family's success and they do that by chess and it happens completely unbeknownst to women uh because we just don't think in that way and that's a good thing. Like they have a very, like a strong ability to compartmentalize and uh, so that they can keep going in difficult situations uh, and hardships that chisel them rather than uh, cripple women, right? Um, just that's how they become great men and fathers. Uh, okay. Yeah. Could you give an example of how, what does it mean women play with chess like you women. mean men play chess yeah and women. okay Checkers, so sorry. Women. an example of this i would say is a lot of women um feminists who are in power 
Um, a lot of times they think that they are the ones pulling the strings and making decisions and men are giving them positions of power so that they can feel like uh, they're making good moves. The whole time the men are behind the scenes pulling the strings on what they're doing and even actually more in control than they understand them to be and just using the women as a pawn. So they're playing chess in real time and moving all the pieces on the board. Meanwhile, the women think they're making decisions, but the men are just setting them up to do exactly what they want, whether they decide to submit or not. So a lot of women are like, oh, I would never submit to a man. But in, in actuality, either with men in society, whether you choose to submit or not, they're gonna make you submit. Like you either choose to submit to a husband and a father who loves and cares about you, and God, or you're gonna submit to someone in corporate America that's just gonna play chess moves with you for their own benefit and their own family. Facts of life. So that's a real time example. Judges, lawyers, whatever. To, on your okay, so, and it'd be a lot of women who don't see that part. You know, you think just because it's not somebody who you're dealing with um, every day in your face, like personal on a personal level. That doesn't mean you're not playing by the same set of rules, you know. Anytime you're operating in this system, because it's a patriarchal system, these are the rules you're playing by, you know. So, I'm glad that she uh, brought that up. And I got something to piggyback on that to close this out with, because I think it's something important. Because, again, this is all about men being better, you know, and operating better so then that the women who deal with these men will operate better and then the children will operate better and then the generations that come after them will operate better and it won't be so much fuckery like what we dealing with right now so An undisciplined man is a weak man he has no control he's not controllable with his finances he don't control his flesh he can't control his life. He's just undisciplined. You're weak. If you fall for every woman that come across your life, and you got somebody in your corner, or you got a woman, and you fall for your, for your flesh, you're weak. Period. I don't, I don't care what you're talking about. I'm a man. We supposed to flourish. And the hell. Man, even just to pause, just to piggyback on that, even if you just fall for any and every woman that come across you that's weak, you got to you gotta dissect and, you feel me, really know who you engage it with. You can't just be so quick to be lover boy, you know, and just fall for anything, you know? That's, that's not cool. You got to be extremely selective and use discernment. But I'm going to let this guy continue because he on point. With all that. that ain't what you decided when you got with that woman and tell her, hey, look, I'm going to be out here spreading my seeds everywhere. But that ain't what you're supposed to do. You ain't keeping it 100. And you damn sure ain't this. You misleading. You didn't tell her you was going to go slaying data everywhere. So you ain't keeping it 100. You ain't standing on business. You undisciplined. You can't control that. Any man that can control.